At a time when Ukraine's doing this, and Canada just committed to giving Ukraine this. $650 million over three years for 50 armored vehicles. Canada's Department of Defense being asked to do this. There's no way that you can take almost a billion dollars out of the defense budget and not have an impact. So this is something that we're wrestling with now. A billion dollars in cuts. The total defense budget around $26.5 billion. But Canada already isn't hitting our NATO spending target of 2% of GDP, despite recommitting to the target recently. We are looking very carefully. At, at expenditures. Um, it, it may require, for example, that, that we make different choices. You know, we need to be careful here that we don't cut something that's producing real value and it's a good expenditure. What's going to give here on a billion dollars this year? And how are we going to deal with the threat environment that we're in if we're going to continue to cut rather than invest in our Canadian Armed Forces? But money is just part of the picture. Canada's short over 16,000 regular and reserve forces members. And Russia's war against Ukraine is showing what modern militaries really need isn't drones or smart bombs. It's 155 millimeter artillery shells. <laughs> Senior generals say every NATO nation is failing to scale up production to support Ukraine, and our own supplies are looking short. If we were to consume munitions the same rate that we're seeing them in Ukraine, we would be out in some cases in days, uh, and it would take years to re, uh, restock. In Ottawa, Shao Lee, City News.